pewnie będziesz chciała. Ale no, 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 Nagrywam, a czemu bym zdjęcie miała? This is like three days after we actually have come back from Manchester, but I thought I'd show what we got anyway. Um, the reason being is I've been ill literally as soon as we came back from Manchester, I passed away. <laughs> yeah, the first thing we got was my mum wanted to get some rosemary oils and we really like the um, Holland Barrett in Manchester. So we went into there and there was like a three for two offer. So she got a third one, but she's already started using it. And I also had 20% off um student discount so i don't actually remember how much these came to but these are really good and then to be honest we didn't do as much shopping as we kind of thought we would but we did go into primark so the first thing that my mum bought i hope you can see it okay it's very dark outside today but it's this little like i don't know this dress with like a little hood um and it's from the rita aura primark collection but this was on sale and it was eight pound my mum noticed this as well, like, it says 18 quid on here, and then it says here, was 20, now 8, like, how funny is that, it just wasn't 20, it was 18, but okay, but yeah, this is cool, oh, I didn't even notice that on the, on the tag, well, there you go, and then my mum also got some, um, my underwear sets, um, she needed some, like, new bras, so she got some, and they were so cute, and all these sets were only £9, like, each, for, like, the bra and the pants, so she got this, like, blue one, she got this one so cute, I kind of wish I got one, like, for myself as well, but I just don't really ever wear bras to be quite honest and then she got this like burgundy kind of like red one um but i think that's such a good price for like all of these like literally all nine pound for a nice like good quality bra as well with the underwire and everything and a set, a set of pants as well okay so then on to what i got I actually didn't get all that much i did try a few things on from the rita or collection but nothing like sat on me right if that makes sense <laughs> um and also my mum did get some like mini fake ugg boot things um just some black ones from there they were like i think eight pounds as well um yeah anyway i got this this was kind of like oh do i get it do i not but i really just fancied some like cute kind of like new pajamas i don't really sleep in pajamas but i like getting changed into something comfy after work and i don't really have a lot of like winter pajamas i kind of just wear like joggers and like sweatshirts and stuff which is fine but i just kind of wanted like a cute little set of pajamas and everyone always raves about one from primark and i saw these powerpuff girl ones and i could not resist although now that i look at it yeah why does my favorite character why does buttercup look almost the same as bubbles and like even blossoms like a little bit washed out anyway whatever i didn't notice that in the shop um kind of annoying now because the green one was always like well not always my favorite i actually think um oh wait but they've got it they've got it normal on there that's really strange 
Mm. Yeah, I think Bubbles used to be my favourite, and then I think I kind of, like, migrated to Buttercup being my favourite. But, yeah, either way, these are really cute. These were £18, which I actually thought was quite spenny. Where's the price? There's the price, so I can show you. Um, I actually thought it was quite spenny, but then my mum was like, no, it's for, like, a set. It's for, like, the top and the bottom, um, and they're a really nice, like, material. They're not overly warm, like, they're very lightweight, but they're really nice and like soft kind of like not silky but like the fabric is that soft that they almost feel silky um i got them in a small but i haven't tried the size yet i didn't want to try them on because of like this obviously um and this like the extra small which is a six to eight which i'm an eight to ten so this is what annoys me in primark a small is 10 to 12 and then an extra small is six to eight and i'm eight to ten so what the fuck am i meant to do there but anyway hopefully i thought maybe i'll get a bigger size because then they'll be like more relaxing and stuff <laughs> rather than like a small kind of size eating at your waistband um but we'll see i also got myself some underwear too just because i feel like primark underwear is the best underwear although i was quite disappointed because i wanted some so these are both like thongs i mean they're both really comfortable i find the primark thongs very comfortable anyway and the these the fabric of these ones is like really really I don't know how to describe it but it's really good but I just wanted some more like comfy ones just for work because I'm always sitting like for nine hours a day just at my desk um but they didn't actually have any of the ones that I wanted in like cute colors or like my size at all um if you know what I mean with the like the Brazilian type ones, I find them to be like a little bit more comfortable, um, just if you're sitting all day, but they just had like loads of horrible colours, so the thong ones, I thought these were cute, I just really liked the little like the lettuce edge, and I really, really like the fabric, they remind me of like the seam free ones that I've got loads of, um, again they should make like Brazilian versions of those, they only have the thong version from what I can see anyway, and then I just got these little, like, lacy ones, again, yeah, just really cute, simple, again, they are thongs, um, but who doesn't need more pants always, um, and these were six pa oh, these were seven pounds, I didn't notice, I thought they were both six pounds, but yeah, for three pairs, not bad at all, and I get them in a small, because I actually prefer these a little bit bigger, um, again, it's that same issue with, like, the extra small being just a tad too small, um, and then the small be just a bit big, but I'd rather be a bit big than eating into my crack. <laughs> but yeah, that was all from Primark. Um, we didn't get anything else. We also went into this charity shop that if you know in Manchester, they kind of just... Actually, they've got a lot better from when like I went last time. They actually had more vintage stuff and like secondhand stuff, but they do pretty little thing. What's it called? Like samples, I think. Um, and this watch was actually a... Um, a pretty little thing petite sample it's a six but i couldn't try it on in the shop but i just bought it um it was 10 pound because i knew we were going to go to do some clothes shopping afterwards anyway so my mum just said just try it on somewhere else like try it on in primark <laughs> and then return it if it doesn't fit but it's a six but it's like it looks like a bigger six otherwise i wouldn't have picked it up and it does actually fit um yeah, I just thought for, like, raves or, like, a festival or something. Or, like, even with, like, an oversized jumper and some boots. I just thought it would be quite cute. So, yeah, I got that. And then we went into, like, quite a few other shops. We went into, like, um, Monkey and where else? We went to a few clothes shops. But we just didn't get anything in there. There was some cute pieces that I think I filmed. But if you know anything about me and my mum, we like a good cheap shopping. We love charity shopping and we love, like, sale shopping. So buying full price stuff just doesn't doesn't sit right with us we also went into super drug um but i can't really be bothered to show you what we got in there but it wasn't anything interesting we literally just got uh sparkly water still water two lots of lockets because my throat was like not good at this point i was like i need something i also got a throat spray because i knew it would just get worse and worse so i was like right better get all this stuff now and then i got a lip balm which i actually thought was 99 being now i'm looking at it it's an, and it's 199 but it's a really good one it's just the super drug own one it's like a shea butter one um because i am like the queen of vaseline i've still got like three tins of vaseline but i do like a little screw on cap off sort of one where you don't have to like touch it if that makes sense um especially at work because we all like we all share the keyboards and stuff like at the computers we don't have like our own desks we kind of just hot desk um so then i feel kind of gross using my vaseline sometimes like 
you know so i'd rather have one that like you just twist off and apply okay and now i'm kind of gonna just split this vlog from manchester ignore that i've got philip schofield on my laptop there i am watching some old british soap awards i don't know why just fancied like watching it um i need to sort the hell out of this room i don't even know what's going on i've not unpacked yet from my holiday from like two weeks ago i've got christmas presents on the floor still yeah this just needs to be organized and by the way this is gonna be changing like so much soon obviously i've not lived in this room for like the past four years so it does need a revamp this section needs to go i need more storage i need a new bigger desk um but for now this is the only time off that i've got left before christmas so let's do something about it so i actually ordered this from urban outfitters like a few days ago it's like a little over the hook over the hook over the door hook situation because mine broke off my door because i had way too many coats on there but yeah this actually finally arrived the other day and it's like little tigers isn't it cute there we go this way is probably better but you get to see more of the mess um but yeah i'm gonna hang this up on my door i measured it out so it should fit my door's a bit weird like if you hang stuff up on it it won't close but i think this should fit and i'm gonna try and put less coats on because these don't look very sturdy at all so i'm gonna have max like one coat on each <laughs> so i've got that hung up and i think it looks really cool but again these just don't feel like very sturdy you're also meant to screw it in but as you can see my door doesn't do well with things being screwed in but i've got one on each peg at the moment i might try squeeze just one last one on um i hope it's fine let me try it open the door oh yeah it holds that's perfect just turned into a bit of a weird random vlog but i'm taking all my washing out i've got my dinner in the oven and i just wanted to give a shout out to these absolutely banging coffee sachets i know this may not look like much right now because i've drank half of it already but these i don't know if it's the same brand because i think this might be the audi one specifically but they've got these in like lidl audi home bargains bnm all sorts and they're so good i know they've got the proper nescafe ones as well but i think they're like three quid so i think these are like 89p and they are so good you just need to make sure that you stir in for well until your arm feels like it's gonna absolutely fall off but yeah defo defo recommend also can we just appreciate these cute little pierniczkis that my mum's friend makes for us every year these are actually edible like biscuits but they've just got a load of like decorative icing on them the snowman santa polar bears like all sorts ignore this this is from halloween this says boo um but yeah they're just so cute the christmas tree is like one of my favorite ones they have more here that we haven't hung up but they she already baked some of like a little hole so that you can put um all your thread through and like you can hang them up they are really nice it's just the icing is quite a lot on them so they use more for decoration if that makes sense she bakes us just like these dark chocolate versions for just eating oh my god after like two hours and a couple breaks she's finally done it i know that still looks like shit and it probably will for the next few months whilst i get some storage sorted but everywhere else is done this was the main area that i needed to get finished i had all of like my crafty bits and books and everything all on there and i needed to move that because i should be starting working from home like most of the week soon um well not most of the week but like 60 percent of the week soon um so yeah i just need to get rid of that somewhere and the lamp will probably have to move down there but for now that's where i'm gonna leave it um but yeah do you know what it actually looks quite cute over there i put all the books like not late like laying flat i put them all standing up if that makes sense and then i put all my little crafty bits that i always use there so yeah we just fucking appreciate how many hair clips that i found like on the floor and like on the desk and just in random bits of things when i was cleaning and like i always complain that i don't have enough or that i lose them and they're just all over my room 
Whilst we're here, I thought I'd show something that I got in B&M the other day that smells absolutely banging. Mandarin, lemon and pink grapefruit scented candle. I've not lit it yet, but it smells amazing, like just unlit. Not being funny, but this pistachio macaron candle was literally a quid. I had to keep the price on that one to show you. Um, and this smells so good. Apparently it burns for up to 16 hours. Not sure about that because it is tiny, but it smells unreal. It just smells proper creamy. Also, what I've got burning in here, which is actually like an oil oil diffuser but not an oil diffuser an oil burner um so i've not actually been able to put that much in there cute little gingerbread men and obviously they smell like gingerbread but i had to absolutely decapitate this one unfortunately oh no i've done it the the other way around um what, what would you call that well anyway you had to have a little bit of surgery just so that he could fit into that little oil um burner because obviously they're not as deep the pans aren't as deep as like a wax melt burn and now i can't get him back in and i'm sorry matey just enjoying a little cup of coffee again same one as earlier so i've just poured myself a bath and i'm gonna put some of these lavender and jasmine bath salts in there these was from super drug they're like super drug own i think that is bloom collections but they were a quid and they're so good i'm gonna do a video like reviewing all my favorites from like this past month soon but these are ace i know some people are gonna be like girl what the fuck but i'm gonna put these on straight away i know some people like wash them because they're probably full of fucking chemicals and all sorts um straight from the factory but i've literally been waiting like three days to put these on and i want to put them on okay so i did want to sit down and make like a proper kind of sit down video about these but i just don't know whether i'll actually have time to do anything like that um because this is literally the week of christmas that i'm filming this well christmas eve i guess <laughs> and i literally have work for the next five days so yeah i don't really think i'll have time to record anything proper i wanted to sit down in front of like the tv and the, and the like put the fireplace um recording thing on youtube <laughs> so anyway these are just kind of some gift baskets that i've made up this year as presents for people um so this one is for my boyfriend's sister and then this one is for my boyfriend's mom um and i just thought they were really cute i kind of just wanted to get some kind of like self-care like um what's it called like hygiene beauty kind of baskets i always think they go down well as gifts and also they're very useful gifts like when you're stuck on what to get people not that i was stuck this year but just like i just really fancy putting together some gift boxes and baskets because i really really love doing that for people yeah essentially i'm gonna get these like wrapped up in some nice like decorative um maybe plastic or something like that and get like nice little bows on them just to kind of finish them off so the lighting is slightly better now i've connected my um ring light up just so that we can see them a bit clearer so anyway i'll go through them kind of like one by one what i've put into them and maybe hopefully i can give some inspiration to some people um i really hope that my boyfriend sister or mom aren't watching this because <laughs> it's a wee bit of a spoiler but anyway i've kind of made them like personalized to them as well um the white basket for my boyfriend's sister and then the gray one for his mom so the first thing that i popped in here was just the boots curl cream curl creme however you want to say that um because i'm pretty sure that she uses this um but also we've had conversations about like curly hair and stuff because i have like a massive like curl routine and this is what i use so i'm sure even if she doesn't use this, she would appreciate um, some curly kind of recommendation products. Next up, obviously, I had to get a candle. This one was on offer in B&M and it smells so good. Prosecco pop, it's um, juicy berries and fresh blooms. And I absolutely love the smell of it. I love like the aesthetic of it. Um, and I really wish I got one for myself. This was kind of like the inspiration for the whole sort of box anyway, um, was like tea. Um, they both love their tea. They both love their little nighttime cuppers. And my boyfriend's sister, she prefers Earl Grey and his mum prefers just normal tea. So I got her some Earl Grey. I was trying to find some in a cute little tin, but I actually couldn't find any. So I think this box is just really cute. And I've heard that this English tea shop brand is very nice. Okay, and then next up, up um we've got some just like a little pamper gift set now i bought this because look at that cancer research uk it supports so every purchase supports that and i just thought it was quite handy it's like a top to toe pamper set so you've got a hair mask a foot mask a sheet mask and a hydrogel eye mask which i just always think it's really useful to get people like little um 
pamper sets just because it can be quite hard getting people's skincare because you don't know what products they sort of use hair care is a little bit easier to get i think but i think something like this you can't really go wrong and then this was actually something off her um like wish list um basically i asked my boyfriend like if there was anything that she had mentioned that she wanted and these little shower steamer things were one of them why are they so mucky but yeah, these little shower steamer things um, she asked for. I got the exact ones that she wanted and they look really, really interesting. Let me just show you. Lemon, two pieces, rose, two pieces, lavender, two pieces and vanilla, two pieces. And this is what you do with them. You just um, like put them in your shower and then they just steam up and I guess make your... Um, make your shower smell nice yeah so this is the first one very easy kind of breezy um i'm also gonna get her some biscuits to go along with the tea and i might get something else as well just to chuck in here um but i'm also gonna make some earrings myself because i've been making earrings recently and i feel like i always make something like diy for everyone every single year so yeah i'm gonna chuck some earrings in here obviously gonna get rid of all the labels and the prices don't worry and it's gonna be wrapped up a lot nicer then we have this little gift basket which is a lot heavier um but yeah they come to like about the same price i'd say um so one is not way more expensive than like the other one okay, you can still see what's going on so yeah gray basket as i mentioned by the way these baskets are so nice um to like keep i like buying baskets if i'm making gift baskets for people with ones that they can actually keep so first and foremost had to get a candle and i'm a bit annoyed with this because now it seems to have like all these little marks on it i tried to get like the most perfect one in the shop so i don't know if you can get rid of that but yeah this restore candle he like really careful with how to take this stuff out because it's taken me quite a lot to fit this all in the way it is and um, so i'm just maybe very slightly going to show these things but to go along with the candle i got this matchstick holder which i think is so cute it goes with kind of like the aesthetic of their house so i think that'll be really nice as just like a nice thing to keep in the living room and then you've always got your matches to light your candles obviously the match um like the what's it called the thing to ignite the matches with is on the bottom of the bottle and they've got two cats the cat obsession is real so i got a mug with like all different types of cats on it there was actually two that i was trying to choose in between but some of the cats on this mug do look like their cats so i thought this one would be the best got her some rich tea biscuits because she loves a good rich tea biscuits with her tea speaking of tea how cute is this little tea holder tin um i got it from amazon yeah there's 40 tea bags in there just normal english afternoon tea i was about to say breakfast tea but it does say afternoon teas on there um don't know what the difference is but i'm sure they'll taste lovely and if they don't i mean just look at this tin beautiful it's not just on one side it goes all the way around it's like some people in a little tea room having having a goss um so yeah lovely little keepsake yeah and then the other two bits in here are more self-care kind of bits so got these bath salts from superdrug lavender and jasmine they smell incredible and then lastly i also wanted to get um another bit to support with the cancer research uk stuff so i got this sheet mask which is the same as the one that's in that little gift set um, that I got for the other gift box but this is just the sheet mask on its own and again it does support Cancer Research UK every purchase. I actually think I might make, <laughs> I actually think I might make some earrings now so yeah I'll show you the finished result if I do end up making any.